crafters welcome back to my channel choose joy with Carmen today I am sharing the card I created for this month's oh so inspired I am part of this collaboration team that is organized by Alicia from call me crafty Al. to see the videos that the other team members have created you can click on the hashtag in the title or in the description below if the hashtag is not working as it should then you will find in the description a, a team channel playlist link that you can use instead. However, these links need to be updated, so give Alicia some time to get them updated. Here's a picture of this month's inspiration that was created by Shari Moss, and she created this for Lawn Fun. You can find a link to this card in the description and if you want to play along and create your own design from this inspiration, we would love to see what you create. You can post to any social media platform using the hashtag that is also provided in the description below. So now let's look at the card that I created from this inspiration. Okay, so here's my card. And basically, I was inspired by the colors of the rainbows well, the various colors of the rainbows, and also the look of the rainbows created like with half circles. So I decided to pull out some products that would allow me to get this look. And so basically I took my, um, this one is a retired, the Circles Collection Framelits from Stampin' Up. And then I'm using just one of these stitched ones from the Stylish Shapes that's current. And I use that for my sentiment here. And then for the It's Your Day, that sentiment comes from Days to Remember. That's a current product. And then the two retired product sentiments um, comes from the Curly Q. That's where I got my happy birthday. And then the inside sentiment, oops, um, one day just isn't enough to celebrate someone as wonderful as you. Let's party all week. I got that from the, it's uh, occasional quotes. It was a retired hostess set. And then my designer paper that I'm using is called Bright and Beautiful 6x6. And that's in the current catalog. And my ink was the Berry Burst. And... It was a little challenging because I wasn't sure how to get this look. So I just wanted to show you what I did. So what I had to do was, so if you notice, that I took circles and like I did a die cut of this circle, the berry burst, and then cut it in half. But that didn't allow me to make this side. So what I ended up doing was I could, you know, make two cards. So I used one half for this card and I could use another half with this to make another card. But what you do is then you you find the colors that you want and you go down with the size of the circles and you cut them in half. And then on this side, you do the opposite. So you start, if you did the large and the berry burst, you start with the smaller over here and then go back in reverse in the opposite sizes. And then what you do is you glue, like you glue them all to the right side. So I took both of them and glued them all to the right side. And then when you put them on your card, you can just then line up the colors. Now mine's a little space there, but that's because I, moved them like this so that I could put my sentiment there. So that's how you come to get this kind of look. So that is my card. I thought it was really fun. Took me a little bit to figure it out, but, and then I loved that this paper had the circles in the background. So it was just a bunch of circles to create this card. So that's what I got from this month's inspiration and hope you enjoyed it. If you did, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. And um, just thank you so much 
for stopping by to see what I created. So, but don't forget to go check out all the other cards created by the other team members. It is fun to see how they each were inspired by this month's card. So hope to see you all next month on our next Oh So Inspired. So until my next video, remember, choose joy and may God bless you all. Bye-bye.